you are a native of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Is that correct? Yes, indeed. Born and, born and raised until I was about 19, but I still go back because I have a lot of family and friends there, and uh, and I uh, have some uh, property up in Door County, and so I have season tickets to uh, Lambeau, of course, and um, I'm, uh, I'm a dyed-in-the-wool Packers fan. So what's your first memory of Lambeau, Tony? What's your first one? Oh, man, you know, I... I my dad had season tickets. Uh, we didn't go, get to go to all the games, but, you know, we did get to go to a few. Uh, you know, the thing I remember most when I was a kid, I don't know if it's still they still have this, but they used to have a contest in the summer and fall called Punt, Pass, and Kick. Sure. Or, oh, is that still around? I mean, it was, it was big back then. Oh, yes. They're still, and, as, uh, as long as there's punting, passing, and kicking, Tony, they will have that competition. <laughs> Great. Yes. I'm glad to know it. <laughs> Um, so that was a big deal. Um, we used to do, you know, you'd practice and practice and then you'd have, they'd have this competition. And I think eventually it started doing it on the field at Lambeau. Um, and, and, you know, I just, I just have this memory of going to these really, really brutally cold games and loving every minute of it. I bet. And I still, I still love going to the, to the cold games. It's, it's one of the, you know, it's it's one of those things where you know you always wish that Green Bay will get into the playoffs, and they often do. But but one of the drivers for me is that I get to go and sit in a really <laughs> blistering cold stadium. <laughs> I have been there, and I have done that there, Tony. And you know, obviously, so, there are so many special uh, sporting venues in in our country, and yeah, and, and people have every sure. right to talk about what's special about theirs and what's favorite for theirs. But there really is only one Lambo, and the fact that you're just driving on a on a you know a street and there's a convenient right. there's a convenience store there's a gas station and there's the home of the green bay packers i mean that's there's literally the yeah. that's, that's exactly. literally the way it goes and it it really is special like that especially since you know we know tailgating's a right um in in the state of wisconsin <laughs> but my, my buddy steve mariucci who i do games with a former 49ers coach and also Favre's former quarterbacks coach Tells yeah. a story of somebody who has a house at Green Bay, uh, right around Lambeau Field. He leases it out to college students or college age kids throughout the year, and then when there's it's a, and then when it's time, and, and yeah. then and then when it's time for a home game, he comes and lives in the house and makes the tenants serve the tailgate <laughs> material to him and his friends. Like that literally happens. That's genius. In Lambeau. I wish Field. I'd thought of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's food for thought, but I mean that uh, I, I mentioned that just because it is just such a, a, a unique setting, you know, in Green Bay, yeah, Tony. That and and, the, and the, the neighborhoods right around, right around the stadium, there. And one of my sisters uh, lives not far from the stadium, so we kind of use her place as a you know if we're walking to or being it. dropped off at the stadium. But uh, what's great is that people you know rent out their their the lawns for parking that's right uh so you don't have to park right at the stadium. you can park two blocks three blocks five blocks away for whatever 10 bucks 15 bucks and um and then just walk in and so it's this kind of you know the sea of green and gold <laughs> or, or people in orange hunting gear walking you know <laughs> through these neighborhoods and right across the street to the to the stadium it's it's fantastic so who was your guy growing up is it Bart Starr? Is that who it was? Is it? Uh... You know, I I love Starr. I I even have a Starr uh, T-shirt. Uh, it was a, a friend gave me as a as a gift recently. But um, for me, it was Jim Taylor. Uh, you know, I, he was the fullback, and uh, he was the you know he was the guy just grinding it out. You know, yard by yard. You know that he he was he was that guy. He wasn't was didn't have a lot of flash. He wasn't like. Horning, who was kind of like this, looked like the sort of matinee idol guy, but uh, but he was just the kind of this the workhorse who got it done, and he was my hero. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.